Hello and welcome to another video. As you can see, we're playing Monster Camp, aka Monster Prom 2. Um, they just updated stuff so you get the gallery. Uh, I've only played this game twice. Uh, I want to play it more, but I want to play it with my friends. And my friends don't have this game, and I, and I kind of am upset about that. Because it's fun to play multiplayer and see multiple endings at once. But anyway, I put the music down. But for some reason, it turned it off, so. I'm only gonna put a little, because I don't wanna get in there, yeah. I don't want people, maybe a little more. I don't wanna get in trouble. So, let's play Monster Camp. We're gonna do a short thing, which should be like 45 minutes, hopefully. Let's see who we go for today. It says 30 minutes, but with my slow rating is an additional 15. Alright. As Camp Spook, the staff of some of the dearest summers, back then when we were young and unafraid, with school far away, something seemed positive, possible as the sun embraces us on our way to camp. Summer has as that distant power doesn't, doesn't it? You live for the day while the nights you, I don't know. It's like life could take a turn at the corner and for us it did. Okay, I always love playing yellow, but I'm gonna go with my red color. Camping. Are you? Are you really? Alright. See talk. Okay. I never know what these objects do. I'm assuming it just gives me some cool points or something. Alright, what we're introduced of our popular ones. We're gonna go for my usual favorite, which is Damien, Mr. Hellboy. But if I have the opportunity, I will try to go for Miss Witch. AKA her. She's bubblicious. Beautiful. I already got her happy ending. I've got the orgasm ending with him. Haven't gone anything with her. Only in Monster Prom. I actually went on a date with her. I, I've had many endings with him in Monster Prom. He or it is new and I don't know what I don't know what the river's gender is. I'm assuming um, they go by they. Oh, I've been clicking. So it was clear down to the breaking of the ice and causing good and with the right person. Ooh, okay. Um, which book would you take to a deserted island? Hmm. The little very angry prince. A guide for speed running life. Famous last words, the art of war, interview with the very sexy vampire. Uh, I think the witch is into this one. Oh, I knew it. So we're going for her now. Yay! I think the little prince would have been the. Oh, I love that book. I'm a sucker for a sexy bloodsucker. What did you think about the very sexy vampire uh, childhood? The story about his father's death made me cry. Okay, fine. I'm lying. I'm, I mostly pay attention to the photographs of the book. But I promise it was pretty 
to study the photographic craft and not because I was entertained by the subject ripping abs. I just realized what that book was now. That was their version of Fifty Shades of Grey. F, man. Okay. I've never read that book. Neither has my family or my friends, but my mom has seen the movies, and let me just say, she's in love with Mr. Grey. We only had three weeks left to woo our crushes and, and get their hearts. But as as but as I already said, we were young, unafraid, and we were ready to start. I would kill for a body like Miss Switch, actually. Because I'm like chubby. And I'm like trying to lose weight, so I've been going to the gym a lot lately. And been eating like nothing but fish during the weekdays and on the weekends. I just like eat chicken. Anyway, I changed up my diet, I'm working out. Um, I just would, I would love to have like that hourglass that she's got. It's like, come on, beautiful. Alright, I'm seven bold, seven, five charm, five smarts, three creativity, and four fun. I want to get my charm up, but I feel like she's a fun charm girl. So I'm gonna go I mean, fun and creative. So I'm gonna build my fun up. <laughs> oh, that's a tea soda. Oh, wait. Let me, one second. That's thumbnail worthy. Alright, one pick. Done. Okay. You spent the day playing the lake. Everything is fun until you're... Marit... Maris... Okay, by a stranger's song. And... Song. It's the siren. They try to lure you with their beautiful chants, but you... Know, you now... Yeah, you know b a better and challenge them to a riff off. They kick your ass, but you all definitely have a lot of fun. More specifically, plus two. You see Joy trying to do something normal on the beach, so you head over to ruin it with ruin it with sexy. I love that beat. I would I would wear that beat too if I could. Just as you're about to strike up your most erotic pose, Aurelia stumps uh, stumps over and steals your thunder. That is a wicked shield, man. Joy, enchant my armor. I'm going into the lake. In the armor. I know I shouldn't ask, but why? For violent reasons. This this stupid lake monster called short the other day, but I was too low light. I was too low level to crush him like he deserves. So they think they're in, in an actual video game. That would be cool if I when I found this armor with a uh, crushing plus 10, the d the dumb wet dimple won't know what hit him, but it will be me. I will hit him. The only thing that's going to hit him if you wear that armor in a stunt scent, stunt, stunt scent of relief as you plummet the bottom and drown. It was t it's it's way too heavy. Wow, Joy. Com commenting 
on the armor weight. I thought you were better than that. I came here to be enchanted, not body shaped. Hex, come on. Help me out here. You think she listens to me? That's cute. Anyway, it's fine. I, I have some friends I've been meaning to visit and help. Hi, loser. Don't talk about me like I'm not here, you two. I'll show you both by going into the lake and stabbing that lake monster. Wait, at least let me enchant the armor to weigh a little less. It'll keep you from drowning. Oh boy. Hey, lifeguard over here. Oh, this is the first time I'm meeting the lifeguards. They look dope. Love the artwork. Whoa, hey, chill out. What's up? She's drowning in the middle of the lake. Didn't you see her from the lifeguarding tower? Oh, we put black... We put black owl curtains on the windows in there. All the sunlight makes it hard to sleep. Man, one of us should probably get her, huh? I'm just really not feeling it right now. Rock, paper, scissors? You're on. You better not throw a rock because it's what I'm planning to throw. The two lifeguards square off and, and predict the both ro throw a rock 15 times in a row. Sure. Surely there must be a better way to decide this. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, STU? Grab the emergency scramble board. No! Okay. Okay, this is... This is funny, obviously, but I was, I was and still am certified as a lifeguard and uh for i still have my uh cpr and first aid slash aed certifications so that helps me work and what these people are are just like ah it's, i'm cringing because like if a person is drowning there is no i just i know this is all funny but i just jump in and save them i mean yeah like it, you might get weighed down, but if anything, you, you, that's what you have the flotation studies for. The- oh my god, I know this is fake and everything, but like, ah, my inner lifeguard is saying, SAVE HER! I don't- man. If- if she dies in the lake, it- it's really gonna kill the horny summer vibe. Quick, suggest a faster way to decide who saves her. Um, um, a more bold man. See who saves competition. Compose it. That would be smart. I think they're not. Dude, that's an awesome idea. They never let us do competitions like that in lifeguarding school. Yeah, mostly because we never went to lifeguarding school. Ah! Sorry. I'm not even sure lifeguard school is a real thing. It's not. It's just like literally a week of a week of lessons online and in person with an actual. Swimming who is certified throughout the board. The two of them dive into the water and speed towards her. Soon she's back ashore. Ah, I won. That was awesome. I should be a lifeguard. I'm totally not drowning. That was not awesome, and I did not need saving. I was only drowning to lure my opponent in a fast sense of secu security. I know. F hey, no fair. I forgot what we were doing halfway through and stopped swimming. Mm -hmm. Rules are rules, dude. You lose. We've gotta do the thing. We can find. Help me drag her back out in 
to the lake so I can save her. Wait! But it's too late. They've already snatched her away and threw her back in the lake. So they, so they can swim to her back to shore again. There, I brought her back. Are we even now? Even for what? Mm -hmm. Well, that was unbelievably pointless. Except for the point of my sword, which I used to stab the fish people during my surprise return attack, which was my plan all along. She's so pleased that she even shares some of her loot with you and joy, at least uh, mildly impressed uh, that you tricked the idiots into doing your job twice. All in all, I think that was worth plus fun and one bowl. Don't... Don't you? Cool! Mm -hmm. Okay, I wanna go back for fun. I think I need to do stuff with creativity. Oh, wow, that's terrible. That day, you happened to take the same monster scout class. Uh, okay. You didn't get good... You didn't get... You didn't get good sleep last night, so you asked her if she has any of the weird energy drinks she let you have once during high school. She doesn't, but she does have some sort of strange smelling coffee that could help. There, th where, where does that girl even find these weird ass drinks? The coffee is delicious, but it comes to the side effect of getting a few, ca a few, getting fear of caterpillars and Grow to creativity in your hair. Nice outfit. You link up with Joy so you um, can practice summoning a awakening element. You've just composed the necessary tweaks and drew the Suggesting lamb's blood. Get then I hate this guy. Hey, you kids, stop getting blood on the grass. Uh, why? Because it's my grass. That's why I just bought this camp to turn it into a shopping mall. And the only blood I want spilled on my land is the blood of also orphans it if it profit if it's profitable what you can't buy the summer camp it's a sort of happiness for so many people I'm a self -made gremlin. <laughs> oh i'm sorry is that a law that i that says ugh. I'm sorry, is there a law that says things that make people happy can't be bulldozed? Never mind, I don't... Never mind, I don't give a sh... S word about laws. I'm rich. You won't get away with this. Good... Good ways... Good always trumps in the end. Pipe down, sugar. You'll love it. I'll put two hot topics in there. So you'll always have one to turn to when the other one gets too mainstream. Let's go, intern person. <laughs> nah, I feel bad for the intern down there. Now go get yourself another black mesh, some th something, and let the man, the men work. The CEO wanders off with his tape measure 
to figure out exactly how many sharper atoms outlet he can fit into the dome, leaving you alone with a, a fuming joy. Ugh, I want to punch that D right in the A word. It's like how Damien feels all the time, but for reasons. He's right though. We can't rely on natural forces to stop him. Our only hope is to turn to the supernatural. Joy whips out the biggest spell book. The biggest you've you've ever seen and slams it down on the grass. Jeez, where was she keeping that? Where were you keeping that girl? Hmm. This is the truth of Bakuni. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. The most powerful collection of anti capitalist magics ever established. There must be something in here that can put an end to the man's horrible scheme. But what? You search the ancient page for the perfect spell, you narrowed it down to two options. Selling a thousand share of Fortune 500 the invisible hand market. Uh, I don't know if that's creative. Construct the only artifact power uh, enough to imprison I believe man the go to jail card. Hmm. Uh, uh I wanna go with this one. Oh thank god I chose right. Sometimes I choose wrong guys. And I think it's a good answer, but then uh because I'm I have to think about the stats here. The stats overweigh everything. Of course, the go to jail card. It's a powerful artifact indeed. <laughs> Even since it was the first widely distributed by the Parker? Parker? It has been a, tool, a potential potent tool in the struggling against Monopoly. All we need are the Appreciate me, agents. Let's see. Let's see. Stock the card, ink of jet, print to the bind from. Yes, I think this may work. Soon as Joy uh, extremely directs the ritual is complete, you think it would be easy to print out a card from a well-known board game, uh, but Adobe is super complicated. And I'm back, patrons, my apps, pardon my apps. I was just doing a evil Well, I'm making a poor person shine my shoes. Now, what have you conducted to defeat me? A bake sale? A rock and roll con- a rock concert? Uh, for charity? Some other pointless display of a young Vigo? Uh... It won't work. Sorry for my oh, we have something much more effective. Behold, the go to jail card. No, not that. Anything but that. We billionaires are immune to the law of man, God, and common decency. The only rule we must obey are the rules of monopoly board games. Yes. 
the only standard rules the all the house rules must all the house rules just make the game take longer. Free parking can kiss my butt. Just as I thought so long, you filthy billion. You're going away for a long time. Joy nods and you throw the card on the ground. Red light flashes and a skeleton hand emerges to drag the CEO down into the glowing Chris, uh, crimson void. This isn't over. The poor intern. You haven't seen the last of me, summer campers. I'll be back. You'll see. This isn't over. Wow. I knew that artifact was powerful, but... The way you threw it, with such passion and anti-capitalist fervor, would make an interesting love interest. Ooh, <laughs> I heard those words. I love it. She said I make a good love interest. Yay! Okay, it was kind of hot. Blood hanging out some more. Yeah, that really CO gets out of jail and. Oh, easily four hours later, as soon as he's able to roll doubles, but the good, but the good will, will, but the good will you earned with joy will last a lifetime, unless he do something really f effed dumb, effing dumb. But what are you, the odd of, what are the odds of that? You keep too smart and one. Nice. Let's stir those marshmallows. I don't know what this fly does. What is that? I don't know. I'm gonna go to my girl. And boy. You're hoping to make sexy uh, small talk with Joy and oh, slash or but they seem to be too busy having a non-sexy angry talk with each other. There are a million reasons why you can't be the main coven evil next season, For, but I'll just start with the most obvious. Villains don't ask us to fight them, they just do villainous things and then we try to stop them, which they don't want us to do. You're not a big bad, but you're still very bad at this. Just by asking us to fight you, you're always inter inter pro proving that you would be a terrible covenant villain. But what if I'm using a uh, reverse psychology and I'm not a villainess that I know the second I let you tr my true villain shine, you and my coven, you and the coven will rush to fight me. So if I get you to reject me as a villain now, when I finally do unleash my villain, you'll you will have already agreed not to fight me, and I'll defeat the Coven with no restriction. Hmm. That's an interesting point, but I'm not buying it. Don't get me wrong. You're irrational, irrational as F, but you're not evil evil. Clearly wouldn't know the real evil if it burned down your tent, which is clearly going to be my next uh, step now. Okay, the real evil here is camp is camp mates fighting with each other when they could be flirting with me. Time to step in. 
all good villains are have, are either orphans or and, or have terrible parents. But you, Damien, uh, but you, Damien, have two loving dads. Do you really want to give up your dads just to be a villain? Wait, really? Of course. Don't you know that? No. Say more, uh, say more right now. On second thought, maybe that's that lured to blame. No fair. <laughs> but I can tell you that Ulf is obviously wouldn't be nearly as transparently evil if he hasn't lost both his parents at any early age of tragic uh, to a tragic and very clearly man-made fire. She's just giving examples of them. Poor, poor. His parents forbid him from seeing a movie when he was 11. He snuck out to see it well, anyway, it gave him a taste for cri for criminal and he never looked back. Hmm. Dang, that's dark. Guess there's only one thing for me to do. Bad. Write to my dads right now and make them disown me for a little while. <laughs> Dear dads, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Camp's good. I wore sun punk like you told me. Yesterday we played in the lake. <laughs> Anyways, can you please disown me for a little bit? It's so I can be a villain on my friend's TV show or life that seems like a TV show. It is unclear. Bye. I love you and <laughs> will talk to you after I'm finished being disowned and a villain. Hugs. To P.T. Prince. Damien is back, bitches! Hey, now what you <laughs> what now, Joy? Now I am your villain. That's what. Damien runs away, crackling eagles. This has been joyful. Well, there's um keeps him that oddity will keep him occupied for a while. I want to go do something fun and not lucrative. <laughs> Isn't, isn't really a campsite, camp spooky brand per se, but Joy does tend to keep things more grounded than the rest of the these jokers. So you spend the night making s'mores, this, uh, and magic spells. It's quick, uh, qu is that quickly? I don't know, and quirk, uh, no, quickly and imaginative, and, but uh, not as in your face over over the top, wild and crazy as the S word other campers are doing. Fun. Again, sorry for my bad reading. Ugh. To, and getting a, a good drink. Well, looks like the cat drags in. I have some drinks here for you. Let's put, uh, let's, it's up for you to which one you pick. Uh, behind door number one. Mm. Will you take this drink with you, or would you prefer the mystery box? Okay, I know what this drink does, it cuts things in half, so instead of getting two points, it would be like 1.999. I'm gonna see what the mystery box has. This is my first time picking the mystery box, actually. Ah, uh, mystery box. So bold of you. Hope, hope you're happy with. 
throw it out. The ski mask that was in the magic of my friend. Magical uh, object to let someone go in co in what? In I need to look that word up, sorry. One second. I'm gonna ask Google right now. Define in congenital? No, I spelled that wrong. Define. Must love the long pauses with these words, huh? Having make having one's true identity concealed in a way that conceals one's true identity. But since you just drank it, I guess your inner stats will go now. Ah. Choices. I regret life, man. Keep going creative, I guess. You spend the day learning new skills with the monster scouts and other to each badge. You earn the badge of for healing only, only using the bark of a tree. You earn a badge. For writing poems. Oh, what does that have to do with healing? And you earned a badge for building a blackberry using only real blackberries. <laughs> nice, completely out of the unexpected, you've gained two. two. creativity. Afterwards, you were hanging out with your number one summer crush, Joy. It's nationally unfoundering upon the past days. So she flips through the pictures on her phone with you. Hell yeah! Ooh, this is back from season three, right after we beat the moon and spiders. Faith looked so cute in that one. And look at that amazing felt wood mar uh, mac t-shirt i was wearing that t-shirt was so cool I, it was vintage from the 78 uh tour steve nix steve nix bless blessed it, it herself whatever happens to that shirt did i sacrifice it to the gods Goddess or something? <laughs> oh wait, I remember exactly where I left it. F. Joy makes a uh, mysterious phone call. She starts asking about her Feltwood uh, Mac t-shirt, but the person on the other end of the line is obviously uh, not being chill about mm. it. Listen, X-Ray. I know things ended badly between us, but can you please just give me back my t-shirt? Specifically, I specifically remember leaving it in your evil lair. I, I know you, I know you know which t-shirt I'm talking about. I didn't leave multiple t-shirts in your lair. No, there is definitely no need to discuss it in person. No, do not portal here. Suddenly, a magical portal opened in an obviously sexy caterpillar person emerges, and they are given off a 
evil, evil and vibe. I'm getting a. They look like a, like a ninja caterpillar. Does that make sense? Or a ninja spider? A ninja, a ninja insect of some sort. You know? Joy, baby. I'm. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Sorry. Joy, baby. I'm coming to speak with you in person, just like you wanted me to. Look, as lovely as. That day I wrapped you in my bag silk. Enough of this. No, I specifically said that I did not want to talk to you. You're doing that thing again where you gaslight me into spending time with you. Yes. Uh, me. Meet my ex. Ex crap. They're, they're a magical, evil, centipede person I defeated back in Season 3. I know they look... I know they look hot, but don't let your guard down. They're, they mind control everyone in Philadelphia and tries to make all of, of the society Jump into a pit of caterpillar bomb venom venom. Oh, you make me sound so evil, Joy. But that's all in the past now, gorgeous. You should focus on the present. And this is very important. T-shirt deep debacle. Why don't you ditch this third wheel? <laughs> She's picking her eye at me. Or they're picking their eye at me. You you and I can go out for coffee and talk it over. Or perhaps we can enjoy a romantic dinner. Do any restaurants around serve a pre chewed ab uh if I go get one coffee with you do you promise to immediately hand over the shirt? Show me the shirt right now before I waste my time. Oh yes, let me check inside my car pins. Oops, silly me. Looks like I forgot to bring the shirt. Guess we'll have to keep hanging out until my portal spell recharges. I told you so many times that I am not okay with us hanging out because we always end up going back together. It's a toxic cycle, so F it. I really want that t shirt. Uh, her ex is, stressed, is stressing out your potential thick goddess girlfriend. Unacceptable. Get that. Wood Mac t shirt for joy if any means necessary. Ooh, I almost clicked. It. Set up a black market. Um, go to the police and send one S and not an umbrella for the t shirt. Can't hide from the power. Oh, uh, black market. Yes! You're going to make joy dreams come true through the dark through the dark powers of supply and demand. You go get to work get, uh, right away on your illegal joy themed black market. A few hours later, the black market is up and running. Literally everything on sale with one with once owned or touch by joy. It's super f effing creepy. I almost said the F word, sorry. Distractively, it's also pretty popular. Turns out the Covenant has some uh, divulged fans and lots of magical uh, beings want uh, general use of magic items. 
Come get Joy's genius authentic spell herbs found in her trash. Screams a creepy salmon. I've also got Joy's chopsticks that she lost in, on the road trip. Buy or trade. Hmm. The black market is heaven on earth for for a Joy complex shirt. My uh, com I said that word without even actually reading it. Joy, sure, myself. I, I'm certainly that, uh, that, that, I'm certain that shall be some merchable, I quite am interested in. Luckily, I, I've got some very valuable joy failure. I didn't know, I didn't want to let go of the Fleetwood Mac t-shirt so soon, but if I see something that really catches my eye, haha. <laughs> yes, and they show up uh, just like you planned. You give the signal to the cops, bust the place, and they arrest everyone in sight for being a creep. No! You all misunderstood. I am not a creep. I am just a humble human centipede. You can always trust a human centipede. The police send the creep, uh, the creeps, to creeps jail and confect the items to return to Joy. The cop also tells Joy what a good job you did, which was nice of you. What a plot twist! Holy S word. That is amazing. You all, you got all of my stuff back. Look, there's my uh, first spell book, and that's my chopsticks I lost in Faith's car on the road trip episode. <laughs> and oh my gosh, my t shirt! Here it is! Yes, I can feel Stevie's powerful witchy blessing rating. I underestimated you. Aw, thank you. Thanks a lot. You were super chilled with my very clingy centipede person X. You're pretty great. The mayor awards you three smarts as a reward for your out the out the outstanding work in the black market breed. Also, you made Joy super happy. Yay! So, I don't think I'll ever see my stats again. Last summer. So this is where I get to choose, and you know I'm choosing Joy. <laughs> yes. Here we go! You go... Uh... You go check on your favorite witch. Hey, you. Hey! What? You wanna watch the meteor shower together? Mm. Huh. I'm grateful for all your help these past few days, but I never really imagined us in that way. Mm. But now that you bring it up, I'm gonna admit, I do like you quite a bit. I guess there wasn't I guess that wasn't the inten intentional passion spark you know. <laughs> All the fire, uh, like a fire that lights lights in you, in which you want to destroy it in some way, but also fuck their brains up. It happens, it happened with all your exes. Ugh. Come to think, I sort of seem, seem to have a pattern. And looking at it now, it doesn't seem super healthy. I do always look for sexual partners in my enemies. Why? Looking at it from a distance, it seems like I... Sabotaging myself always entangled with evil people who don't exactly 
uh, riddle their commit. But maybe I could break the cycle. Would you want to break the cycle with me? Do you even need to answer? The meteor shower, arri meteor shower arrives and you share it with joy. You wonder if it may uh, live a may live to become an evil ex. The thought frights you, but it is there. But what can we do? What can we do besides try our best while we dive into the morphic I ideals of being known? The fear is there. The right and blunt, but if we eventually fear, then in time, we will learn from every error. So tonight, you just hold hands with joy while gazing at the starry night, a starry night and wondering about your shared future. You start, you start slowly, but it speeds up as she Excited by the prospect of new, less complicated way of doing things, and you. Let's make this night. Ooh, did I get a special? Did I get a special ending? And you're deeply un and you are deeply under her spell. See her. See her. Do we see her? A woman who loves unapologetically. Kind of soul who is not afraid to lead with power and compassion. A deeply com complex person who carries the weight of the world on her shoulders. Someone that, in the moment when she avails herself from all those responsibilities, can also be the true embodiment of joy. I got a secret ending. I have yet to get a regular ending. Is there any regular endings? I wonder. Anyway... Anyway... That's gonna do it for today. Ooh, I got a new drink. I got another drink. Cool. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please hit that like button. I'm sorry it took longer. Me and my reading skills take forever. And I know I took long pauses because of some words I couldn't understand. Um, and uh, if you found me entertaining at all, hit, uh, me try to hit that subscribe button for more content and i will see you guys in the next video later my sexy demons <laughs>